A collaborative research team used the first batch of data from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, to uncover a galaxy candidate, Sears 93316, that originated around 250 million years after the Big Bang, setting a new redshift record of Z equals 16.7. This discovery is highly exciting, since it highlights the capability of JWST, which only recently began sending back its first round of data. Sears, which stands for Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, was designed particularly for imaging with JWST. This new study builds on a dozen prior investigations that used a combination of ground-based observations and Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes to detect objects up to redshifts of Z10. Based on imaging data from the JWST's primary imager, NearCam, or Near Infrared Camera, the researchers established that Sears 93316 cannot be a low-mass star or an unimpeded active galactic nucleus. Because Sears 93316 might be just 250 million years old, one objective for cosmologists is to understand what happens in such young galaxies so soon after the Big Bang. Given this astounding discovery in just the first set of JWST data, it's exciting to speculate about how far back in the cosmos this record-breaking space observatory can view, and whether it can witness the Big Bang itself. Redshift is a component of the Doppler effect, which astronomers use to calculate distances in the cosmos. The shift in sound wave pitch when a loud item travels towards you, then away from you, commonly by an ambulance or other first responder vehicles, is a common example of the Doppler effect. Blue shift is the moment of sound waves when an object approaches you, whereas red shift is the reverse. This latest discovery, which sets a new red shift record, indicates that scientists have measured the universe's furthest object to date. And as always, if you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, like, subscribe, check our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.